Like a face it's smile, real. you know? You yeah. know, sometimes you don't get your South Dallas Culture Center, March 17, 2018, at 2.30 p.m. Tickets. Rehearsal. This Thursday. The next rehearsal is Thursday. The costumes February, are... February, hold on. February the 15th. Is that her? Okay. At the Meadow, <laughs> the Meadows Conference Center. Yeah. But the costumes are coming along great. I'm trying to make a fake ringtone. <laughs> He's good at going. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. The costumes are coming out great. They are. <laughs> they are. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> okay. And we finally got the date, which is March 17th, 2018. The South Dallas Culture Center. 2.30 p.m. Tickets at Eventbrite. Okay, and I think it's asking, is it on the website? Or yes, and they can go to the website at www.inthespiritentertainment.com. Also, the tickets are on sale online event right for $15, and they're going to be $20 at the door. Yeah, so okay. you'd be best to get your ticket early. So we do have, um, we have um, some really great people like, um, Bill, um, who do we have? Harriet Tubman. We got Harriet. We're gonna. We got Duke Ellington. Maya Angelou. Yes. yes. But the music is great because you think you just get great acting, but you have voices too. We have great voices. Cesar Chavez will be have yeah. will be on stage. And we want to give a tribute to Woodstock. Yes. <laughs> and also. Who else do we? Oh, tribute to Woodstock. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. So, that's gonna be yeah, what set a little bit more about that? What's up? Yeah. Well, when we were thinking about the stuff that really kicked off the '70s, mm -hmm. and what everybody was talking about was mm -hmm. Woodstock, and that was kind of like a culmination that kind of kicked off '68 to '70 with all the protests. So mm -hmm. you can't overlook Woodstock. Okay. And then too, yes. we have. We so have that was like ass. the hippie peace love, yeah. and they wore all the stuff that they're wearing now. Pretty much, they call that right. the, um, you know, when they do it at the Coachella. 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 Exactly. Coachella. Coachella. Yeah. Oh. That's where they got that. Oh, from. Okay. Yeah, Woodstock nice. was first. Woodstock. Woodstock was first. And that's where all the other stuff began too. So and it's so, basically like so a festival of entertainment. So we'll have three pretty much wow. three different looks. So we'll have the cotton club look. You have yes. for the uh, Duke Ellington tribute. We'll also have the um, that look, yeah. and then we'll also do the seventies. How about having the young Aretha Franklin is going to be Ooh. quite well, and she can really sing. How about, what song is she going to sing? A little That's a soul train. <laughs> oh yeah, I love the soul train. Yeah. Right, we have done. Yeah, we have done. Oh wow, love, love peace, and soul. soul. And I think we're just gonna bring everybody out and we'll do that yeah, soul train line. Awesome. Yeah, that'd okay. be great. So you got everybody for every part? Yeah, or you we still have to have, have our some? Angela Davis, that's the last we're one. We're looking for a special Angela, Angela Davis. Davis. Angela Davis. You got to be able to pull it off. Yes. We need an Angela Davis, someone that's really powerful. Prideful. Power. Power to people. Power to the people. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> and so, was that all the characters that you needed? Um, yes, what we could use is a few little protesters. <laughs> no lines, but a few little protesters <laughs> would be nice. <laughs> and what about, um, okay. Did you need a did you need a, a MLK or the Jesse Jackson or what are you doing about that? Well, we have an MLK, but I could use a Jesse Jackson because we, we do have Jesse. a Tommy Smith, right? Yeah. Right, we do have Tommy Smith. Well, um, so what we're looking at is a Jesse Jackson, the older Jesse, an older Jesse, because we have the young Martin Luther King, so we could use an older Jesse Jackson to come from that perspective. Mm -hmm. So that would be nice. But what I really could use is some dancers. Young and old. What kind of dancers? Uh, kind of on the African bent, Alvin Ailey bent, something like those. So are they jazz bent. dancers or modern dancers? They could be modern dancers or jazz dancers, hmm. but okay. I would like some dancers. Have uh, we anywhere reached from, out to uh, any like dance companies? Or no, I haven't had a chance. You didn't? We will. 
it's been I can't do everything. It's like I'm just trying to pull so much together. But we do need dancers. We, we do. do. And that's it. That's one thing I say. I'll make some phone years. calls on um, Monday, and I did mm -hmm. reach out to a girl. <laughs> We just want working with budget. They want to know the budget, the day. Well, there's no budget. I mean, I want to be be honest that that uh, if you into what you doing because uh, we have costuming and whatever. But uh, no, you know, because sometimes the first thing people ask is, "What's your budget?" Okay. So, All right. well, that those are black it. stories that are told in America, in the U.S. Right. So they're black stories that are told in America. Yeah. Right. And so I'm really excited also because we will have um, Blue Butterfly and the models. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's going right. to set off oh, the you show. Missed her, did you? Yeah, yeah, she was here. Oh, she was? And yeah. so she's going to have frozen models, and she's going to have the pick the 60s and the 70s. She's going to have different yeah. ones. So um, also, we just need to kind of get together, like, how many Afros do we need? Yeah, the wigs. So we need to kind of start like what? How many models is she gonna have? Well, we don't have to worry about her. Hers. She got hers. About I'm actors. about the actors. For the actors, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because I need to. We need to start looking for all that. But other than that, I think um, we're pretty we're, good. We're pretty good. We just need to go over the set and how everything is gonna flow, and I'll we'll have that done by the weekend. Okay. okay. Awesome. How many weeks we? How many weeks? Oh, we got? okay. So we're week. So we're looking at. Um, Let's so today here. is the today is February the eighth. So we you have <laughs> hold on. My calendar is not picking up correctly. We have approximately about yeah, a one a month good and, month. Yeah. One month away. Yeah. My goodness. It's coming close. We're really excited. A month and a week. This a month and week. two weeks. Two weeks. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a short month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So March the 17th, so we have about four weeks out. So we got to really push it. We got to up. The, the actors have got to learn these parts, and they got to get. They got to be up. They have to do it. Mm -hmm. They have to learn these parts, and we are woke. We have to also let everybody know what hashtag we woke means. Exactly. And um, just having an awareness. Days to be. Yes. So we just days. we woke is basically having days. an awareness of you know. Our education, our smartness, our rights as individuals, as uh, black people, African-American people. People just want equality. And we had a whole bunch of powerful leaders who were setting the pace and giving legacy and knowledge amongst every community they were a part of. And so I'm glad that we are, you know, channeling in on every, every public figure that we have presenting in this production. I think everything will be great. We so just have Crystal, to keep. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a part in the play? Actually, I do. And what is? <laughs> I think I was. I may play Isabel Cottrell. You are. Yeah. I am. Okay. Yeah. I am portraying Isabel Cottrell. Isabel Cottrell is a trailblazer. She is. Uh, she is. She is awesome. She is one of the uh, co-founders of Proline uh, Company, hair company, mm -hmm. and so. They started the first Jerry Curl in a box where you can purchase from like the beauty supplies and the stores. And they also was, I actually wore this when I was a kid. I got the uh, <laughs> Just For Me Relaxers. Just for me, you know, no yeah. air conditioning, relaxing, free. Yeah. <laughs> for combing and styling and worry free. Yeah. So yeah, that you was know. me. I was Just For Me girl. You and know, so. now here's my problem, mm -hmm. sorry. I, uh, I did the uh, box on one of the kitty perms. Oh, no. Uh, a photographer I work with. We shot it, and I styled the little girl. I mean, they had the super professional store here, but I did the other stuff. The but, shot that, but that was the kitty perm box. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love I love her <laughs> products. Yeah, she has an interesting yeah. story. But her story goes beyond, because not only wow. did they tour with just their hair care products, they did a cross a uh, multiple marketing where she also had uh, clothing and so they would tear with the hair products and the clothing and then also they had brand ambassadors they had like NFL players NBA players and so they would just cross promote and they would go to like the New York Fashion Weeks have their designs and then also uh, sponsor the hair care for the models and so they and then they would go to uh, Paris Fashion Week 
Paris Fashion Week, and they would do this epic stuff. And I'm listening here. I'm soaking all this up. Yeah. And when we went to LA, I said, we're going to switch it up. We're going to have some models. Yeah. We're going to have some brand ambassadors. Yeah. We're going to have some right. Because she's products. such a trailblazer, and a lot of people don't know, like, Isabel is just, like, this major, incredible person mm -hmm. behind the scene because when she met Mr. Comb Cottrell, um, she was working for Ultra Sheen, mm -hmm. Afro Sheen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so they actually hired her for, as a model because she's really tall. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I looked at some of her pictures. She reminded me of a younger Tony Braxton in her face when she was younger. Oh, uh, yeah. And she's real tall. And so um, they hired her as a model, but she was so smart that mm -hmm. they asked her to be a sales representative. So she ran the Alabama region. And it's really straight because she really she really opened doors for the black hair care products because, like she told me, she was um, actually... Uh, Go, trying to get their products ultra sheet inside of white companies mm -hmm. where they would have they white stuff here and you know what's the stuff uh back in the day Murray's Murray's that, that's Murray. y'all stuff and she's like no that's not our stuff and she's very soft spoken and she's not an assertive person and she was like no that's not and she was like they would be like no this is y'all stuff here and we don't want it she said they were very rude like they didn't want black hair products in their pharmacy or in their store. Yeah. Oh, wow. So she had to go in there and persuade these people, yeah. this was what makes our hair soft, and this mm -hmm. is what makes our hair of this. She would have to persuade them to get the Ultra Sheen, Apple Sheen in their store, right. because they were like, no. And so she said that she had to practice and practice, and one good thing about it, the Johnson Company would not let her, because she was so young, mm -hmm. that they would not let her uh, to go places by herself. So as she grew older, her younger sister, which I met Mary, eventually was uh, hired in because she watched her sister. Mm -hmm. So when she became co on the pro line, her sister was over regions, and she was a sales representative for 30-something years. Mm -hmm. She retired with pro line. Right. But it's just a great story that yeah. you don't even know yeah. that they did. They yeah. broke, they oh, broke barriers for so many opportunities. For that. And she said, like, back then, they really, 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 really uh, trained you for a sales, like how to go in there, how to sell the products, how to do that, because they were very racial. They wasn't fixing to put your stuff in the drugstore. Yeah, yeah. right. They would tell her, no, but we don't a, want this. Yeah, but in the midst of that, she also helped people. Like her husband invested money so Steve Harvey can open a club in Dallas and invested money into the Ranger Stadium, and they have the keys, and they were, uh, they were the they first, were first ones. ones. Uh, Piece have the heart to have peace of the uh, land, and they're also on the board for the Dallas Cowboys, so they could travel with the team, and they on different boards, and they're on boards for the Beverly Hills Film and TV uh, uh, organization. So they are on different boards, and out, as them going to the top, they you see how they help others. Always, Byron so, Allen was Byron one of Allen the biggest. Uh, mm -hmm. There's so many people she's really helped and they, they poured their life into because as they were moving, and that's how you do, mm -hmm. as you, God blesses you, you move people forward and bring them along. Mm -hmm. And that's what they did, and she's really a great person. Mm -hmm. And I call her my friend because she is my friend. Right. And I, I'm really glad that God put us all on the same path. Right. Because it's really, a, and she's a big supporter of In the Spirit Entertainment. Right. And we're really excited to be able to do her story, which is going to launch into a movie. Okay, that's 18 minutes. And that's it. So you got enough. And goodbye. I got too much. And hashtag we go. Right. All right. You said something about in the spirit, didn't you? You said a little bit about in the spirit. Oh, in the spirit entertainment is a <laughs> crystal talk. I'm tired. In the spirit is entertainment uh, is a nonprofit organization. And we also have the company side, but the I'm going to talk about the nonprofit. The nonprofit side, we empower the arts through health and wellness. And with that is for acting, we've had in the past we've offered acting workshops for the youth and the community, as well as fitness workshops and painting and art design workshops. We offer that here in the United States and as well, and we have a base in Accra, Ghana. And so we've been, we just kicked off a, a school tour in the rural areas in Accra, Ghana, where they don't have, the children don't have that many um, amenities as the other schools surrounding. And so they just go around inspiring the kids of what healthy foods to eat and just having goals and setting goals for yourself. You know, whatever you have a passion for, that's where we're just basically about inspiration and inspiring individuals and everyone that we come in contact with. And so that's basically guidelines for it in the spirit mm -hmm. and that's what we walk 
with every day. And that goes for the nonprofit organization as well as the entertainment side. With the entertainment side, we do productions and um, TV film ventures and things like that. So we're really excited. Uh, we also uh, do events and host red carpets for different companies and businesses. And so we're really excited to move forward with our partnership with Microsoft and well as um, different sponsors and vendors. And we look forward in this 2018 future, we will have a base in Trinidad and Tobago with a West Indies professor as a president. So we're really excited hey, about Cherise. that. Hey, Cherise. <laughs> so yeah, we're really excited about that. We just keep moving forward and that's the goal. Just keep moving forward no matter what and just keep moving forward. Thank so, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace out. We out. Okay, now let's go. We got 15 minutes to get out of here. Okay, how many people do y'all think was in this room? 30? Too many.